I have been doing a lot of testing of various bottled water and also ionized water and tap water. And today, now I'm testing fluoride in all of these various different brands of bottled water. And I'm going to say I'm not going to go into all of the different results that I have uh, found from all these different brands of bottled water, but you can find those results on my website. Just look at the link under this video to bring you to the page with a huge chart that tells you all about these different brands of bottled water and one of the things that are on the chart now is the amount of fluoride in the water. Okay, well I'm going to just go ahead and get a sample of St. Louis tap water to start with and just uh, compare that with, you know, the other bottled water. And St. Louis tap water, by the way, is, um, it, you know, St. Louis adds fluoride to the tap water and so it's going to be pretty high in fluoride. Okay, now this is a fluoride tester and I will show you. I'm just going to add some reagent to drops to it to start with. It's, it's, a, it's, um, oh, it's Hana Instruments puts this tester out. And to get all this, it was a couple of hundred dollars worth. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's not cheap to to get the equipment to test fluoride. But I'm glad I did. It, it's very good knowledge to have. And I'm happy to share it with anybody who wants that information. All right. A couple more drops. Okay, now, the way this tester works, you push the button, and when it says C1, you put the first covet in, and then push the button, and it has light that shines into that, and somehow or another compares the fluorescence of the non-fluoridated water, which is the, the first covet, and then the fluoridated water is the tap water. Now, as you can see, it's got half a milligram. Basically, 0.49 is rounded up to 0.5, which is half a milligram per liter of fluoride in St. Louis tap water. Okay, now, does that mean I recommend bottled water over tap water? Because uh, all of these different brands of bottled water actually have less fluoride in them than the tap water. The tap water is the loser of this game uh, of this contest. And basically no. I mean, uh, bottled water is unhealthy and you can look at my other testing of bottled water to see that the First of all, the pH of bottled water is terrible, it's most, for the most part acidic, and your body needs buffers. It needs an alkaline pH in order to remove the acids from your cells. Uh, otherwise, your blood just will simply not accept those acids. Your blood is very controlled and it will not accept it. So the pH, for instance, of uh, Aquafina here is a 5 pH. That's terrible. That's terribly acidic. It's not going to let you get rid of your acid waste. One of the great things about water is you can get rid of waste products through your through the water helping to remove the toxins from your body. And it's not going to help you do that being acidic. Here's another one. Penta water 4 pH. It's terrible. Dasani 4.5 pH. Now you can see the video that I made 
with all these different uh, bottled water brands in a if you go to the page that is below this video and, and it will have that video on that page as well as as a big chart with all the results of this test and all of my testing all right well now the best well you know before I even go any further why would we want to get fluoride out of the water well fluoride's a poison and if you look on the back of toothpaste that has fluoride in it, it'll have a little warning that tells you that. If you consume just this much toothpaste, if you swallow this much toothpaste, the size of a pea, that is a poison level of toothpaste. And what the amount of fluoride that's in that much toothpaste is one milligram. So, if you consume one milligram of fluoride, it's considered poison. Well, St. Louis tap water has a half a milligram of uh, fluoride in it per liter. So, here's a liter. If you drink two of these worth of St. Louis tap water, you'd be drink, uh, consuming the amount of fluoride that is considered poisonous by this label. Not only that, but there is other research that has been done, not by one or two different uh, organizations, but many different uh, research projects have been done and that actually link fluoride or fluoridated water with things like learning disabilities and Alzheimer's disease, this type of thing. So it's something that since 1962, when municipalities started adding fluoride to your water, uh, these types of things have been increasing over the years. Uh, Alzheimer's and learning disabilities in this uh, have been increasing in numbers. And why? I'm going to guess that a good reason is fluoridating the water. So fluoride, being a poison, is something you want to remove from the water, not add to the water. Now I believe that probably in natural spring water, here's here's one of the spring waters evermore, is actually this is an artesian well, has 0.2 um, milligrams per liter of fluoride. That, that, that would probably be a, a point where your body could slough off some of this but and another spring water let me see spring um, has uh, 0.06 and um, let me see what other spring waters we've got here we've got several different kinds of water and spring is probably my favorite of the bottled waters because at least it comes from nature somehow all right 0.08 amount of fluoride in the water. So various different you know amounts of fluoride that are that are lesser <laughs> are better you know but when you get up in the high levels like 0.5 that's that's just way too high your body's not going to be able to slough that off and as as indicated here you would need poison control or you're going to get something wrong with you. All right, so I'm going to show you and share with you actually what I have found to be the best way to remove fluoride from the tap water, and that is a water ionizer. Now, this water ionizer is hooked up directly to my tap water, and here's the hose coming straight from my faucet over to the water ionizer. Now, I'm going to uh, just show you just the you know, water ionizer alone, not not particularly filters of any sort that filter. Wa fluoride is difficult to filter out of the water, by the way, and it can be filtered, but you need a special filter called an arsenic lead fluoride filter. And people get them. It's just you know it it's a way to you need probably need a couple of them. Because I, I don't think one arsenic lead fluoride filter is going to get all the fluoride out. 
But let's take a look at ionized water. Okay. So, we'll test this ionized water to see how much fluoride is in it. Start out with the reagent. Okay, stick that in here. And fill the line with the uh, ionized water. Now some people will use a fluoride filter and a water ionizer. And I'm just one of those kinds of people. I just want all of the fluoride out of my water. So that's what I do. But uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I just want to show you what the ionizer by itself will do. Okay. So that is pretty good. <laughs> brought it down to zero. So um, that actually is really a water ionizer is the best way that I have found to remove fluoride from the water. It, it doesn't always bring it down to exactly zero. Sometimes I've seen it, you know, go to like zero point, a point zero six or something like that might leave a little bit of fluoride in it but it reduces the fluoride to well within the spring water or this type of thing uh, more in nature type limits that you would find okay now one other thing that I want to show you is just this filtered water and I don't have my ionizer hooked to it right now but I do have the a filter, a fluoride filter down below and I just want to pull out some of that water and test it. Okay. And um, so basically the fluoride filter by itself will remove a good deal of fluoride as well and I wanted to show you that and just kind of compare that. It does not do as good of a job as um, the ionizer though. So and the I just have not found a better way to remove fluoride from tap water than using a water ionizer. It's kind of nice because a water ionizer is the best way to bring the pH of your water up to nice buffered nice very healthy levels to remove toxins from your cells which are acidic and another thing about ionized water that's really nice is the high levels of antioxidants that help to fight free radicals and keep your cells healthy that way so a water ionizer is good for so many things <laughs> that it's just impossible to say it all in one video. Um, another, you know, comparing it to bottled water, another really awesome thing about ionized water is that it does not contribute to the massive amounts of waste that are in our environment caused by bottles or it doesn't leach things into the water that is probably happening with bottles 
So, so many different ways to compare these two things that suffice, suffice to say, uh, this is just one of the reasons why I'm so enthusiastic about water ionizers. Now, I've been drinking ionized water and my family for over 20 years. And I can tell you there really is no better, more healthier product I've ever had in my life. Now here's what just the filter alone, the fluoride filter, has done. That's pretty impressive. 0 0.03. So that's, that's awesome. That really is awesome that the fluoride filter will remove that much. Um, so what I do in my <laughs> in my house is I normally have my water ionizer hooked right in here and so I I will normally just hook it in there just to be on the safe side and also for if I'm using filtered water and this type of thing I I normally just have it unhooked from here and, and hooked like that so it goes through a fluoride filter and then goes through the ionizer but I demonstrated it just going through the ionizer for you so that you can see that just the process of ionization would do that for the water. And, and it actually does even a better job than a fluoride filter, which is actually educational for me. I, I was not aware of that until I just did this testing with this new meter that I have. Okay, um, go to my website for sure. You will see the website is just below this video. There's a link to it. Just click on that link. You will see a huge chart that shows you all the different uh, bottled waters and you can compare the differences between the waters. And you can also see other videos and um, other explanations of why bottled water is inferior to ionized tap water. Okay? Alright, thanks for listening.